honey, the only sweetener used by man for thousands of years. This one pound jar of honey was made by bees and man had to figure out how to get it from the bees and put it into this jar. So join me today as we discuss the benefits of honey, where it comes from, and how do they get it in that jar after all. Now that we're in the apiary where the bees are, it's important to remember that we have to wear veils like what I have here to protect my head from the stings of these bees. So as I squat down in front of this colony, I want you to notice one thing. Look at the activity of bees going in the nest and outside of the nest. Now the reason they're leaving the nest is because the food that honeybees eat is out there somewhere. In fact, these bees have to send worker bees or female bees to flowers. Now these flowers will have nectaries in the very base of the flower and those nectaries produce nectar which is nothing more than sweet sugar water. So a worker bee will visit that flower and stick her tongue to the very bottom of that flower and drink out the nectar. Now that nectar will be stored in a special organ in that worker bee's body called a crop and she'll fly back all the way to the colony with her crop contents full of nectar. When she gets to the nest, she's checked by her sister bees on the way in and when she gets inside the nest, she spits up or regurgitates that nectar to one of her sisters who then processes it further. So why do bees make honey anyway? Well, it's simple. Honey is bee food. Flowers aren't available year round, so bees have to collect and store enough honey during spring and early summer weeks in order to survive winter. Let's take a closer look on the inside and see how that happens. There are worker bees inside the nest who receive that nectar from the field or forager bees. Now honeybee colonies are made up of up to 60,000 individuals and it takes a lot of food to feed those bees and that is why in fact bees collect honey. So those forager bees who are out in the field will come and give their nectar to worker bees who then deposit it into these cells. This entire area here is full of unripe nectar. Now nectar can be 30 to 40 percent water and honeybees have to evaporate off that water in order to concentrate it down to honey. And how they do that is they'll station worker bees at the entrance to the nest who will fan their wings which circulates air through the nest and dries the nectar off. Once the nectar is sufficiently dry, the bees will tell you that the honey is ripe by putting a wax capping over the top. When you remove the wax capping, you can see all of the ripe honey just up under the cells. We've answered the question how bees make honey, but how do we get it in the jar? Follow me inside with this very frame and see how that happens. Now beekeepers will bring the frames of honey from their colony back to their honey house and they'll use a hot knife or something similar as this to run up the face of the comb which simply makes the wax cappings come off. The end result is that the honey is exposed on the comb. They will then take the frame and put it into an extractor. Now the extractor is simply a machine that spins the comb around really fast and slings out the honey. Once the extractor is finished spinning all of the honey out of the comb, we can open the gate at the bottom of the extractor. The honey will flow from the extractor through a screen mesh in a bucket. It'll collect in the bucket and we'll let it sit there for about one to two weeks. After that time, we can bottle the honey straight from the tap at the bottom of the bucket. The next time you make a quick trip to the grocery store or the farmer's market, I want you to remember that it took bees flying 55,000 miles and visiting over 2 million flowers just to make one pound of honey. Now there are many different types of honey. In fact, here we have orange blossom, here we have tupelo. And the different types of honey obviously come from the different flowers. You get different colors and they all have different tastes and everybody has their own favorite honey. There are hundreds of different types of honeys in the United States. My favorite happens to be Tupelo. Honey can be used in almost all recipes that call for sugar and it's better for you. Now that the bees have done all the hard work, I get to enjoy the fruits of their labor. <laughs>